All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to say Ka Halayim La, Allah Ha Now. We get Hawa, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Grand Millstone, who ruled well, man. Salutation to the rest of you brothers pushing this truth, risking your life to do so, man. Shalom, Shalom. Hey, uh, it's Brother Kawan, you know, coming at you with a quick lesson tonight, man. Uh, and uh, a lot of brothers probably sleep. Got to go to work in the morning, man. But I just want to uh, bring out this quick lesson in the spirit of power you have by Shimmy Hell Shot, man. Uh, I just wanted to cover, uh, I got, uh, just wanted to cover, you know, this hell doctrine thing. You know, I covered it like uh, two months ago. And then I just wanted to bring out some more precepts proving that a, just to prove the fact that there's no such thing as hell, man. And that you just reincarnate when you die, your, your, uh, your body. Uh, which in the script is called the dust, you know, or the chains of darkness in uh, various scriptures. And uh, that your body returns onto the ground and that your spirit itself, like you yourself, returns onto the Heavenly Father, man. Right here, you see this picture right here. For you two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which are you true biblical uh, Hebrew Israelites. Hey man, we you gonna the two thirds is written for two thirds of our people to die on this side, man. So, as you see on this picture, when they die on this side, you know, when you how about Shimmy how Shah brings hell on this wicked world, man, and on these wicked kingdoms that's that's writ, that has been risen up uh in this modern day society, man. When he comes down and he and he puts these uh nations under his feet. And raises up the one third of his of his people, because the one third of the nation of Israel, that's gonna be the uh, the the uh, the uh, section that's gonna be saved. But you two thirds of the nation of Israel, man, when you when you die on this side, you're not gonna go into no uh, fiery place, no fiery magical place with a nigga with, wearing a uh, tight spandex, uh, with a red body, with a pitchfork poking your ass in a in a in a in a uh, in a furnace all day, man. No, man. It's is that's make believe, bro. That came from um that really that's uh, that's uh that's has uh that goes back to that that Greek god Hades in the Roman Catholic Church, man, to instill fear into into you tribes, man. Then that was that was heavily pushed during what? The uh the time of slavery, man. But uh, we still knowing that knowing that uh, we still slave today. But I'm talking about back when we was uh, in hardcore bondage, man. So, you two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. When y'all come back, y'all gonna see the one third doing what, man? Let's speak on a man. You gonna you gonna see the one third of the nation of Israel, uh, mainly the elect, the hundred and forty four thousand men, man. That 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 uh that push the name of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. On this side, man, you're going to see them sitting on thrones, man. Just a, 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 a depiction of what you see right here, man. Because we truly don't know what the uh, what the kingdom of heaven is going to uh, look like. But we know it's going to be rulership. Kingdom is going to be a kingdom, man. And what, what happens in a kingdom? King, kings rule, bro. That's why it's called a kingdom, man. A king's dominion. Okay? So you're going to see you're going to see men on the earth, immortal men on the earth. Out of the out of the nation of Israel sitting on thrones, man. That's what Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh Shai is who you people ignorantly call uh Jesus Christ, promised us, man. He promised that to Peter in, in, in Matthew's 19th chapter, man. And he really promised and, and Peter uh uh represented the whole elect asking that question, man. Well he uh, Peter spoke for all of the elect, man. You know what we gonna get for for following you for uh Yahweh Shah man, Lord Yahweh Shah. What we gonna get for following you, forsaking all and following you, man? We gonna get a kingdom for 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 forsaking all on this side and following Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah, man. So no, you're not gonna die on this side. And, 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 and first of all, you going through all this shit as a human being on this earth, which the which is which the earth is the actual place of judgment. Not a, a a fire replaced under the ground. You going through all this stuff in the flesh, and you telling me you uh we gotta uh die in uh in the 
and go into a eternal hellfire forever, man, and burn. No, man, because the scriptures talk about, you know, the heavenly father being a merciful power, man. Yahweh is even merciful to the heathen to an extent, even though he don't give a shit about the heathen. He's still merciful to the heathen. So how much more his own people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man, you Hebrew Israelites. So how much more you? When you two thirds down inside, you will not you will not go down in a fiery false uh, uh fiery place under the ground, man. That's false, man. Lord told you not to believe in fables, bro. In falsehood. You when you die, you yo you gonna your dust, your body is gonna gonna return to the ground. Uh and your spirit is gonna go back up to the father, man. Where 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 it came from, okay. So now that I got now I touched into that, you know, I did all that talking right there. Let's get some scriptures, man. This is Genesis. It's not gonna be a long list, Naki. It's gonna be uh a quick, quick, quick little jab. This is Genesis three and nineteen. And in the sweet of thy face, and in the, in the sweat of thy face, shalt thou eat. Thou shalt eat bread. It's like that says, in the sweet of thy face shalt thou eat bread. That old English, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou was was thou taken. That's talking about the Lord's talking about the uh, the elements that our body is, is made out of. Uh, for dust thou art. For dust, that represents the elements. Thou, thou art, you're made of elements. And everybody knows that the, that the human body is made of the elements of the ground. If you don't know that, now you know. And unto dust shalt thou return, man. Right. Unto dust shalt thou return. And when you die, your body decomposes, man. And, it, and, and when you, when the, that's why you bury, you're supposed to bury a body, man. Your dead body, uh... Is nourishment uh, for the for the earth, man. That's why. Why you think you know? Because it's it, it's from the earth. Why you think uh, cow manure is 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 nourishment from the earth? Because what cows don't eat nothing. What from the earth, man? So when they so when they defecate back upon the earth, their manure is good for the earth because it it comes from the earth, man. It's the same thing with your body, man. It's nothing really too much different. So, um, let's get my next scripture. It's going to be like a 10 minute lesson. I can, it's not going to be long at all. Um, it's like, yeah, let's get my next scripture. And, uh, This is Ecclesiastes 12. This is what I said earlier. Uh, when you die, your spirit goes back up, man. Everybody's spirit goes back up. It don't matter if you was wicked on the earth or you was if, or you was more righteous than you was wicked on the earth, man. Either way, you know, the nation of Israel, when you come back, when you come down here in this flesh, man, you're going to sin regardless, man. So people be like, uh... What what these Christians say, man? Uh, you know, if you if you be found not worthy, you gonna get ca cast into hell, man. Hey, then, then ain't nobody worthy, man. If that's the fact, cause what's what's not being worthy in the sight of the heavenly Father and the Son, man? When you commit sin, so everybody on this earth, even though the laws, the the other nations can't really sin because the law, statutes, and the commandments was not given unto them. So I'm talking to you, to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You true uh, Hebrew Israelites. We've all sinned on this earth, man. So does that mean that the Heavenly Father and the Son gonna cast us down to some magical, mystical place under the under the ground where it burns forever? No, man. We gonna hey, we gonna go back up, and we gonna have to sit. We gonna have to uh get the judgment from Yahweh Shai, man, because all judgment has been given unto Yahweh Shai by Yahweh. We all gotta appear before the judgment seat of of uh Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. As it is written. 
So this is about the uh this is the uh precept on all spirits going back up. Ecclesiastes twelve and seven. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, though your body in the spirit, you that dwells with inside this, this vessel, because that's all the body is, is a vessel. In the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it, man. Hey, that's <laughs> That's self-explanatory, man. Your spirit is going to return unto the Most High who gave it. There's no such thing as hell, bro. Anyway, that was one of the things that, that I was delighted in to find out, you know, when I first, when I first got into this truth, man, that it wasn't no such thing as hell, man. That, 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 that knowing that Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai is, is a merciful power, man. And he's going to have mercy and he's really going to have mercy on his people, man. And he's going to give us, you know, the whole damn universe, bro. And that's written, man. Uh, This is 1 Corinthians. It's like you. Oh. I'm at the wrong one. Con, con. Oh, man. Man, I lost it. Uh, give me one second. I can. Um, I might have to look it up. I know it's in front of me. Yeah, I know I got it wrote down over here. Oh, uh, second Corinthians. Yeah, second Corinthians. It's locked in. Second Corinthians five and ten, our first Corinthians. This is Second Corinthians five and ten. When I said earlier that we you know uh when our spirits when uh we return when our uh bodies go back to the ground. And our spirits go up. We got to do what? We got to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah, man. For uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. It says Christ, but uh, Mashiach is a, is a he, uh, paleo Hebrew for anointed. And uh, right here it says, for we must all appear. That's talking about everybody on the earth, man. Heathen or or Israelite, man. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai when we uh pass away from this earth, man. And it uh I'm just rereading. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. So we we a hey, we going the uh, the son is gonna tell us about the things we did in our body in that life, according to that he had done, according to what and according to what we did in that life, whether it be good or bad, man. So it don't matter, bro. Whether you did good or bad, the heavenly the heavenly son is gonna tell you about yourself, man. And that's judgment. He's the judge, man. You know, under Yahweh. But Yahweh gave what? Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai uh, all dominion, man. And I'm going to end it off on this one. Now, uh, what I said, what I also said earlier, man, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I told us what not to but believe in these false, these false, these fables and these in this falsehood in this world, man. To only hey, be single minded. That's tunnel vision, man. Yo, 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 yo vision should only be focused in this truth, man. Nothing else on, in, on this on this planet should matter above this truth, man. So now let's get to uh, my ending verse. First Timothy's one and four. Neither give heed to fables 
and endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than edifying, which is in faith, rather than building, which is in faith. So do. Hey, right, man. Hey, the Lord said, don't give heed to fables, man. You know, don't go running after these false ass lies, man. Hey, that that that, that hell doctrine does not make sense, man. That def that that totally contradicts Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, man. That's that makes that makes that make that that hell doctrine makes Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai a liar, man. Hey, Yahweh Bash, hey, Yahweh promised Abraham that his seed was gonna flourish throughout the earth, man. So speaking myself, being an Israelite myself, man, the water you have about Shimi how shy, and coming from the seed of Abraham, man, if I die and my spirit gets down, get gets gets thrown down into an eternal hellfire, man, forever, that makes you how about Shimi how shy a liar, man. And what does the scriptures say? Hey, the most high is not a man that he should lie, man, and neither is his son, bro. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai is not a liar, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai is gonna do all they will, man. And what hey, in the in the biggest part, man, is is having Yahweh Bashim Shai having those names uh pushed down through the earth, feared and respected, and having his nation, the the true nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you true Hebrew Israelites, reign throughout the earth, man, and throughout the universe forever. Forever and forever and forever, man. That's the hey, that's the true will of your how by Shimmy How Shy, man. Hey, and it's gonna come to pass whether you like it or not. Hey man, so Lord willing that, that short lesson was edifying. With that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh by Shim, Yahweh Shai, by Shim Kakwadash. Double honor to them to my to a hey, to our masterful masters, man. Of a uh, of great millstone, our elder and apostles of great millstone. Hey, and shalom to you, uh, hopeful elect, and shalom to the rest of you brothers pushing this truth with the city, risking your life to do so in the name and the power of Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, shalom, a ba ba ba. On to the next one.